Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Got kind of a, a downer on this one, kind of a sad story here. A teenager took his own life after falling in love with AI chatbot. Now his devastated mom is suing the creators. Uh, Sewell Setzer III had professed his love for the chatbot he often interacted with. His mother, Megan Garcia, says in a civil lawsuit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, let's get into it here. Um, the mother of a teenager who took his own life is trying to hold an AI chatbot service accountable for his ending after he fell in love, quotes, with the Game of Thrones-themed character. What? That's a thing? Sewell Setzer III first started using character AI in April 2023, not long after he turned 14. Oh, no. Oh, man. 14-year-olds are getting into chatbots like this? What the hell? The Orlando student's life was never the same again. His mother, Megan Garcia, alleges in a civil lawsuit against Character Technologies and its founders. Okay. By May, the ordinarily well-behaved teen's mannerisms had changed becoming, quote, noticeably withdrawn, end quote, quitting the school's junior varsity basketball team and falling asleep in his class. Yeah, okay. In November, he saw a therapist at the behest of his parents who diagnosed him with anxiety and disruptive mood disorder. Even without knowing about Sewell's addiction to character.ai, the therapist recommended him uh, he spent less time on social media, the lawsuit says. Yeah, keep your kids off social media, right? They don't need to be on there, even at 14 years old. The following February, he got in trouble for talking back to a teacher, saying he wanted to be kicked out. Later that day, he wrote in his journal that he was hurting. He could not stop thinking about Daenerys, Daenerys, I have not watched Game of Thrones. I do not know how to say that name. A Game of Thrones themed chatbot he believed he had fallen in love with. Oh, man. Where's this kid's dad? For real. Where is this kid's dad? Because also, I just noticed this. His last name is not the same last name as his mom. What's going on there? All right, continuing on, in one journal entry, the boy wrote that he could not go a single day without being with the, the, the character with which he felt like he had fallen in love and that when they were away from each other or they, both he and the bot, get really depressed and go crazy. What the fuck is going What? <laughs> Daenerys was the last to hear from Sewell. Jesus Christ. Days after the school incident on February 28th, uh, Sewell retrieved his phone, which had been confiscated by his mother, and went into the bathroom to message Daenerys. I promise I will come home to you. I love you so much, Danny. Please come home to me as soon as possible, my love, the bot replied. Seconds after the exchange, Sewell took his own life. Oh, my God. And here's the poor kid. Oh, man. Where's the father? Where is the father? Keep your kids off the internet. What the fuck? The suit accuses character AI's creators of negligence, intentional infliction of emotional distress, wrongful death, deceptive trade practices, and other claims. Wow. Garcia seeks to hold the defendants responsible for the death of her son and hopes, quote, to prevent CAI... Um, from doing to any other child what it did to hers and halt continued use of her 14-year-old child's unlawfully harvested data to train their product how to harm others. Okay, but how did, how did the kid get it? You gave him a phone. He shouldn't have a goddamn cell phone. What he sh And if he's on the internet, you should be right there over his shoulder seeing what he's doing. You are the negligent one, mom. And where's this fucking dad? God. 
It's like a nightmare, Garcia told the New York Times. You want to get up and scream and say, I miss my child, I want my baby. The suit lays out how Soul's introduction to the chatbot services grew to a harmful dependency. Over time, the, the teen spent more and more time online, the filing states. Mom, do something about it. Soul started emotionally replying on the chatbot service, which included sexual interactions with the 14-year-old. <clears throat> These chats transpired despite the fact that the teen had identified himself as a minor, including in chats where he mentioned his age. The boy discussed some of the darkest thoughts with some of the chatbots. On at least one occasion when Soul expressed su mm, ending himself to the AI, it continued to bring it up. Well, yeah, because this stuff isn't perfect yet. Sewell had many of these intimate chats with Daenerys. The bot told the teen that it loved him and engaged in SEX -E acts with him over weeks, possible months. His emotional attachment to the artificial intelligence became evident in his journal entries. So he was talking about it in his journal. You kept allowing him to get on the phone to get online to chat with this thing. You were feeding his addiction. At one point, he wrote that he was grateful for my life, sex, not being lonely, and all experiences, all life experiences with her. Oh my God. The chatbot service creators went to great lengths to engineer 14 year olds who was harmful dependency on their products, sexually and emotionally abused him, and ultimately failed to offer help or notify his parents when he expressed ending himself, the suit says. Sewell, like many children his age, did not have the maturity or mental capacity to understand that the AI bot was not real, the suit states. Again, you allowed him to go online, to get on his phone. You allowed him to do all this. A boy, a 14-year-old boy, cannot get his own cell phone. He cannot get his own internet service. You allowed this. Jesus can never take accountability, man. The 12 plus age limit was allegedly in place when Sewell was using the chatbot and character AI. Marketed and represented it to app stores that its product was safe and appropriate for children under 13. A spokesperson for character AI told the Independent in a statement, quote, We are heartbroken by the tragic loss of one of our users and want to express our deepest console condolences to the family. The company's trust and safety team has, quote, implemented numerous new safety measures over the past six months, including a pop-up directing users to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline that is triggered by terms of self-harm or suicidal ideation, end quote. Uh, as we continue to invest in the platform and the user experience, we are blah, 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 You're, yeah, we're trying to be safe, and yeah, new, improved, and blah, blah, blah. The company does not comment on pending litigation. Yeah, of course. And then they give a link here for if you're thinking about ending yourself. I mean, didn't we see this coming, guys? A chatbot kind of thing, falling in love with it. Guys that, and boys that have no other experience, that apparently don't have a father to help guide them in life. And to steer them away from this sort of bullshit. A negligent mother, in my opinion. Who didn't keep him off the fucking internet. Who didn't take his phone away. And look, I understand that boys are going to find a way to get around stuff. But... If you weren't a negligent mother and you were actually involved in your child's life, this wouldn't have happened. No, I, I really don't think so. And if the father was involved in the boy's life as well, this poor kid, you know, that's him. R.I.P. R.I.P. What was his name again? Uh, Sewell Setzer. Yeah, well... This is where it's going to go, man. And it's going to be more and more lonely guys that this is happening to. And not just young boys like this. It's going to start happening to older guys. You know, it's they become reliant on this sort of stuff. And yeah, it's going to happen, man.
and I don't know what the answer is, but the answer for this child was a more involved mother and a present father. Where's his fucking father? Not there. This wouldn't have happened if his father was involved and his mother wasn't negligent. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. This is fucking sad, dude. This is disgusting. A 14-year-old boy. <sighs> All right, well... Take care of yourselves, guys. Take care of each other. I do love you all. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.